Hello everybody and welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty. Today what we're going to be doing is buying some hens. So as you can see we've already repaired all of their coop over here. Their shed is all done as well. Their nest boxes are all nicely refurbished and full of straw for a comfortable bed and when they're laying. So what we have to do first is of course feed ourselves before we can feed the hens. So let's just go down to the local uh, shop get some groceries in and then we can go and get the hens and their food hello Good to see you. Can I help you? yes you can I want some food please uh, right where can, oh, they've got all the different questions here which I think we've already clicked on before um, I think you can also sell Care stuff to this train. chap as well sure. what do you need? I need some food um, hang on wait three pounds for it Six pound twenty-four. Oh no, six euro twenty-four for a pumpkin. Now, that's quite expensive. But oh, wow, good grief! Eighteen twenty-four for some tomato soup. This is an expensive shop. We might just have to settle with with some apples there, I think, because yes, you are you are very expensive. We'll buy all your apples then. There we go. That will do nicely. Because uh, yes, uh, you are. Expensive. So, we should now have the apples in our inventory. Yes, we do. We can put these in the pantry if we wanted to, but obviously it's just an apple, uh, so we can carry these around with us. Uh, can we go inside the shop? I think we can do. Yes, we can. Very nice. So, there's plenty of things you can look at in here as well. All of his expensive produce. Uh, they must have been very hard to grow or something because to be charging 18 euros for a tin of soup is just extreme and I don't know what we paid just then was it a, pa a euro for an apple or something uh, even so it's, it's still expensive so uh, yes am I going the correct way for the hens no I'm not we need to go to uh, where is it gone bear with me I've probably got a thing over it. Yeah, we need to go down here. So it's totally the opposite direction. But it still isn't too far. It is only 950 metres, which it might sound like a lot, but really, if you're sprinting, it isn't far at all. Plus, we get to take a good look at the environment again. Oh, there's someone fishing down here. Hello. Not now. Sorry. Not now. Well, I can see you're preoccupied, but that's a bit rude. Talk later. Fine, goodbye. Let's go. Oh, look, there's somebody else to annoy. Let's go and speak to this person instead. I'm busy. Oh, you're busy too. Seems to be a, a common thing around here. Right, let's go. Let's go and buy some hens to talk to. They'll be good company. Here are our fields. This is the first field we did. The field of wheat. The other field is the field of canola. We've still got some bales in the field, but I'm still waiting to be able to tow the trailer. Ooh, uh, I didn't know I'd left these bales over here. That's strange. I'll put them in the pile. Yeah, as soon as we've got something to actually transport these bales on, we can sell them. But the problem is, I bought the trailer, but I couldn't actually attach it to the, the tractor. Because I think you have to have like an A-frame or something for that tractor to be compatible. I don't know if the game is actually um, going to do that for that tractor or not. Otherwise, I should think you have to have it on the bigger tractor. Which, obviously, we're quite a long way off getting because we've still got to sell loads of stuff. But growing stuff in the greenhouse and, of course, doing the hens is all going to be a good source of income. So, eventually, we'll be able to buy the big tractor. I say the big tractor, but actually, it isn't even that big. It's just a new tractor. Uh, but, yes, it should still be nice to get. Okay, 500 metres or so until we get to the shop. This is the same place as we went to to get the seeds, which are now growing very nicely. Uh, it doesn't say there is much information about them, but obviously they're growing because you can see that there's leaves and stuff, the shoots. All right, so it's just over the brow of this hill. Just taking a stroll down the road here, down the path. I guess we could take a shortcut. We'll surprise them. Right, okay, here we are. Let's jump. 
it probably is mildly faster actually by jumping. We can make our grand entrance over their fence. Or not. That was a fail. Right, let's just go around then, like every other normal person. Uh, yeah, they'll be thinking, it's that strange person again. I hope he's not coming into our place. Well, we are. We're coming in, bouncing away, bouncing down the road to buy some hens. Here we are. Right. Enter the agricultural store. So if we click on more, we can then click on hens just here. They are... How much are they each? Let me just see. 12 euros each. Oh, they do say there anyway. 1 euro for the feed for 100 kilograms of seed, which actually does seem quite cheap. Well, the most we can buy is 10. Um, we don't need so much seed, though. So much food. We'll buy that. What's stopping us from going back in here and buying 10 more? Oh, there is something stopping it. it. It doesn't actually let us do that. That's amazing. That's clever. Cows, then. How many? Oh, yeah, they are expensive. Um... Well, we, we could buy cows, uh, but we could only buy two, realistically. Um, and that would pretty much eliminate all of our money. So I think, yeah, to begin with, we won't buy any cows, just because it would be a foolish idea, as the money is required for other things as well. Anyway, yeah, back over to our farm. Here we are. So before we do anything else, we've just gone here. And it's 8.55 in the morning, 9th of August, and social points are good, the money is okay. Uh, but obviously, if you're buying cows, the money is terrible, because cows are not cheap. Although, a £1,000 on here, and on FS, I think they're 5000 so, yeah, definitely different. Our hens, hello hens. I hope you enjoy your new home. We were only allowed to buy 10 of you, probably because we looked very irresponsible bouncing into their shop. Um, but yes, anyone inside? Probably only when they're egg-laying. Although, oh yeah, they can get in. Yeah, so, I guess if we check back daily, we can see if they've laid any eggs, which they should have done. Do you automatically get your feed? I hope you do. Yeah, it's not in the inventory, so... Must be. Uh, yes, I, I probably shouldn't wield a hammer, or a mower, or a ladder for that matter, or a piece of building supply in front of the hens. That is not a good idea. Um, I've forgotten how to put them away now. <laughs> how do you put them away? F6. There we go. I'm sorry hens, we are very scary owners, I know. So have we been given the amounts that we bought? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yes, we have. Brilliant. So that is the hens sorted. We'll come back to them later. Now I guess the best thing to do is to begin cultivating our fields because they need to regrow. Um, we'll start with the field with no bales in it just because obviously we would have to move the bales again. And let's go in here. I want to just see, I've been meaning to do this, if there is any other object you can interact with. No, I don't think you can. Can you go to the toilet? I, again, I don't think you can do. Ooh. No, I don't think there is too much to do in the house. What about the television? Nope. Okay. So it is, at the moment, limited. But it's worth a try, just to check things. Uh, I get lost in my own house here. And we'll shut the door to make sure nobody enters. And our tractor actually isn't here. It's over at the store. Well, this is the trailer we bought in the previous episode, and as we discovered, you can actually attach it to the tractor. Obvious reasons why there is no A-frame to hitch it to. Um, but it's ours, so eventually we'll be able to uh, take it, unless, actually just thinking about it, unless there is some strange feature where it spawns somewhere else. I don't think it would do. Uh, no, it's there, definitely. Okay, well, there's nothing I can really do until we get the other tractor. So let's drive over to our farm. The other thing we could do is do some work over for Sam, who needs his fields plowing as well. Uh, we could do it, 
but it is a big job. Until we do it though, we don't get the cedar, and obviously we need the cedar to replant our fields. So maybe we should do. I'll see. Uh, it, it's quite a tough decision actually to decide which one to do first. Now Sam is kind of en route, he is further from our farm, but not too much further. He is pretty much our neighbour. So we have to go back to our farm anyway to pick up the plough, but maybe we should do. Maybe we should do his job first. I know that it isn't just a field he wants playing, it's a huge field, plus two greenhouses want to be repaired. So it is big, it's a big job, but in the end of it we do get the cedar. So you can't really argue, because yeah, implements are not cheap. But neither is repairing a greenhouse, or plowing a field. It's just another good way of getting the, the equipment early on. Uh, but I am kind of desperate now to get the bigger tractor, which we're still miles away from getting because it's so expensive. It is a tough game. Unless they make it easier, I don't know if they're going to, because uh, this is obviously still work in progress. There might be things which haven't been added in yet, which would help you early on. Uh, but certainly as it is at the moment, it's a tough game to play. It's going to take a lot of dedication to get to a decent stage. But I suppose that is one of the fun things about it. It's progression and growth. You have to, you have to be dedicated to make something successful. It doesn't just come overnight. So I do like the ideas which are over here on this game. Except for the grumpy people. Very grumpy at the moment. Right, well, here we are, back at our farm, and the plough is somewhere. I've definitely put the plough here somewhere. I think I put it in the barn next to where the... In fact, that's probably blocking the entrance to it. Yeah, just here. Next to the one with the diesel store. Oops. Right, so if I jump off the tractor... We'll head into here. I think it's in here. Yep, there it is. We'll get it hitched onto the back. And we'll take it down to Sam's farm and just see what it's like. But I, I do want to get out of the way thinking about it. Personally, I would prefer to do our own fields. But then we can't just keep putting it off because we need to do it in order to be able to plant our own fields anyway, like I've said. So let's just go for it. Oh, first, let's just go in the greenhouse, though. I don't think anything will have changed. It's already germinated and everything. Uh, yeah, that's all good. Nothing's changed, though. Right, so... We'll just leave it to it. I did consider trying to water them, but I can't really think of any way of actually watering them. So, I think until something tells us about progression or if something's going to die, uh, we'll just leave it for the time being. That's where I left the combine, because there isn't really space in the yard for it. It would do. Let's just head over to Sam's farm and do some work, even though we'll be far from finishing it. But hopefully we can finish it tomorrow. I'm trying to do an episode a day. There wasn't one. one there was no episode yesterday, I should say. Um, the main reason for that is just because I was way too busy with other stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to do an episode of Farm Dynasty a day, and obviously Farming Simulator 17. Okay, so Sam's farm is just down here. 830 meters away. I don't know who owns all these other fields. You can go up to them and see more information. Um, but it doesn't actually put a name to them. I'm guessing that is another thing which is on the to-do list. If we go up to it here, you can see it doesn't say anything about it really. It's just, it's wheat and it's ready to be harvested by whoever owns it. I have tried to harvest somebody else's field just out of interest. Obviously, it's not something which you'd advise to do anyway. But basically, if you're going to do it, Prepare to be, well, not arrested, but prepare to lose all of your money. If you harvest about a metre of somebody's field, which is obviously nothing, uh, you'll probably lose about £3,000 or €3,000. You could absolutely kill your farm in maybe two seconds, because the fine is so great that your money would just disappear. So yeah, a word of advice, don't try and harvest anybody else's fields because it, it does work, your combine will fill up, but you will be fined heavily. And your social points uh, just diminish in seconds. Now fishing is going to be added to this game very soon I've been told, in one of the upcoming patches. I think it was supposed to be this week, but it hasn't actually materialised. It's probably due to the fact that the game was pushed back. Um, but I think everybody would agree that pushing a game back and then releasing stuff slower is better than rushing a game and then doing stuff wrong and having glitches and stuff. 
uh, iPhone would definitely prefer to have a fully operating game or at least an almost fully operating game over a glitchy one which is going to make you just switch off in seconds. Who's that? <laughs> There's just some lady just walking past. Is she anything to do with this farm? Another antisocial person. Well, in fairness, is probably another feature which is going to be added later. The social part of it. Being able to talk to other people properly with proper conversations. Because as we know, the vocals, the voices haven't been done yet. So, yeah, I think this is probably still quite early on. Anyway, this is the field. So, let's start. But as you can see, it's a big field. Very big. And probably worthy of a time lapse. And actually, I'm playing this the wrong way, aren't I? Yes, I am. We'll turn around later. Right, so there we go, we are 39% of the way done, as you can see, um, yeah, so just over a third. But the reason why I've stopped is because we need diesel. This is 21% full, we can probably go a bit further actually. Um, but most importantly, we're hungry. So let's eat an apple, a very expensive one, full of nutrition. In fact, let's have two, because we're feeling lucky. So I'm going to continue, I don't think I'm going to do any more time lapses of this, just because it's, uh, well, it's obvious what we're doing. Um, but yeah, we are amazing actually, not even halfway. That is surprising, I really did think we were, but apparently not. Unless I've done something wrong. Who knows? Well, I'm going to keep going until we need fuel, and then we'll go back over. But actually, where is the nearest fuel station? Uh, yeah, not close. It's up here somewhere, I thought. Yeah, just there. So not close, probably the farm is nearer. But I'm going to continue. See you soon. Right, just looking back at this, I have discovered that playing, obviously, as you would normally play with a wheel and a furrow, uh, does a much better finish. Really good. However, with this tractor having the wheels, the front wheels in the middle, it makes it virtually impossible in the game. So, yeah, although the finish is far better, it's not exactly easy to do. So, I think really what I'm trying to say here is the sooner we get a tractor with, well, this does have four wheels actually, but I was going to say four wheels obviously in line with each other, not in the middle, um, the better, because then we can have a reversible plough as well, we can run with the front and the rear wheel in the furrow without it trying to pull to the side. But anyway, I'm going to go over to the farm now, we're only 14% with fuel, and we're going to go and refill, which might be expensive. Here we are, taking the rural route instead of going along a road. Uh, well, we're, we're in our own field, so it doesn't really matter. We've just been past a field of soybeans, which is quite interesting to see. It was next to a field of canola, and there really is a contrast between the two, uh, both of which are very profitable, as you'll know from FS. So, yeah, let's just go and refill this first, and then it's going to be time to go back to the field and finish off, but the thing is, finishing off, I don't know if it's going to be possible, because it thinks that we haven't even done half the field yet. Um, so, yeah, there's no dying. The game is still a bit glitchy, but it's all expected, and even when it's released, it's still going to be early access kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, you still have to expect a few problems because it's it's just being uh, worked on continually. So things which are picked up on will be fixed, as far as I'm aware. Um, that's how it usually works anyway. Right, let's refuel. There we go. We have... Hang on, wait, that's not right. 
Um, that needs to be refilled. I thought you could do it from here. Maybe not. Ah, that's annoying. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you could refill this tank from here. Maybe you'd have to go to a fuel station just to do it then. Right, okay. Well, it's given us a bit anyway. 29% we're back on now. I think we were down to about 13%, 12%. So, it's extra. But it's still not going to be enough. How far is it to the fuel station from here? Oh, not too far. We'll go over there now. Quite a bit of driving around. Again, this is another reason why I prefer to have a faster tractor. Here we are. The fuel station. And yes, if we can try and refill our tank at the farm from here, that would be fantastic. We can afford it, so we might as well just do it without having to uh, keep going backwards and forwards to here. Uh, so, yeah, is it possible to enter it? Oh, well, obviously you don't want to go inside a pump, that would be nasty, but yeah, I was hoping to actually select what we want to refill. I don't know if it is possible. Let's just see. Ah, right, there we go. Right, so, uh, fuel in stock. That is going to the yard. And that is going to this tractor. Fantastic. Good. It's cost us some money, as you'd expect. But that is going to save another trip down to here. We can just go back to the farm next time. And there is the farm machinery dealership again. Anyway, we've got some planning to do, which we'll hopefully finish. I don't know if we will do, though. Coming through, just driving through the fishing club nearby. I'm sure that would have gone down very well with those who are fishing. Um, right, so yeah, that is definitely the... Oh, I'm hungry again. That apple obviously didn't do much. There we go. Some pumpkin soup. So, yeah, let's just continue. And as you can see, 46% done, apparently. I have missed a few bits, I know. Um, but yeah, let's just see. I'll just keep going. And I'm going to do it all off screen. And we'll see exactly how much, when I think I've completed it, the game thinks I've finished as well. Um, now, it might be, but it agrees. It might think it's 100% done. Maybe it just is going to speed up the amount of field that it thinks has been done. Uh, failing that, we're just going to have to go over the bits I think I've missed. And if it's miles off, if, if I've done the whole field and it's like 80% complete, then I don't know. Because <laughs> we can't really go any further forwards in the game if it doesn't actually take the job. Because the other quest is glitched as well. So, well, I'm not saying this one is glitched, but the other one is definitely glitched. Um, but if this one is, then we can't progress, which would be a shame. But no, we'll just keep going and hope for the best. Almost finished, and I think it is still working properly. 93% ploughed, apparently. So I don't think finishing this area here is actually going to finish the field, because I know it is very sensitive. Uh, so I'm going to have to go back over the bits I've missed for it actually to accept the job. Um, but no, that is good news, 94%. I'm hoping it's going to be slightly kind and just let us off a few pieces which I've missed, otherwise it's going to take about 10 minutes just to uh, finish it off when I've done this section. Um, but no, it's, uh, it's looking good. 49% fuel left as well. 95%, so just 5% left. Yeah, you can see the bits I've missed anyway. They're fairly obvious, but no, this has been a very big job. But it pays off. It's very dusty as well. Very dusty. But it's going to be worth it, because in return, we get a cedar once we've done the greenhouses too. There's always a catch. Wow. Just as I stopped the recording then, it said done. At 96% or something. So it's done. <laughs> the only thing we have to do now is repair the greenhouses. Yep. Fix Sam's greenhouses. And then we're finished. That'll be tomorrow. So, that was very good news. It does give you a certain amount then that you'd have to do. Anyway, yeah, there we go. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.